Barbie, 2023. The movie commences with a playful spoof of 2001, A Space Odyssey. Through the enchanting narration of Helen Mirren, we are introduced to the timeless presence of the Barbie doll, an iconic figure tracing back to the earliest days of girlhood. The scene unfolds with young girls casting aside their conventional baby dolls in favor of the alluring allure of Barbie. Enter the whimsical realm of Barbie Land, a world inhabited by a diverse array of Barbies and Kens. Among them, we encounter multiple incarnations of Ken portrayed by charismatic actors like Ryan Gosling, Simu Liu, Kingsley Benadir, Shudi Gatwa, and more. There's also Alan, played by Michael Cera, and a soon-to-be mother doll named Midge, portrayed by Emerald Fennel. This vibrant universe features a President Barbie, Issa Rae, a physicist Barbie, Emma Mackey, a Dr. Barbie, Hari Neff, a writer Barbie, Alexandra Shipp, a diplomat Barbie, Nicola Coughlin, a journalist Barbie, Ritu Arya, and even a mermaid Barbie, Dua Lipa, among other imaginative personas. The Ken's identities are intertwined with their relationships to the Barbies, creating a web of connections. Our central Barbie, portrayed by Margot Robbie, navigates her days in Barbie land with joy alongside her Ken, Ryan, and fellow Barbies. A rivalry between Ryan Ken and Simu Ken adds a spark of tension, leading to playful threats of a beach off. The Barbies and Kens come together in a lively dance party, celebrating the splendors of life in Barbie land. However, the jubilation takes a somber turn when Margot Barbie introspectively raises the topic of mortality, momentarily dampening the festive atmosphere. As the story progresses, Barbie begins to notice peculiar changes in her existence, her heels now grazing the ground, her skin exhibiting imperfections like cellulite. Her fellow doll companions advise her to seek counsel from the enigmatic weird Barbie, Kate McKinnon, who boasts an unconventional appearance with a cropped haircut and drawn-on features. Weird Barbie, known for her unique perspective, suggests that there might be a disturbance in the real world, involving the young girl who plays with Barbie. Prompted by this revelation, Barbie embarks on a journey beyond the boundaries of Barbie land, accompanied by a stowaway Ken. Upon their arrival in the real world, specifically Venice Beach, Barbie and Ken find themselves embroiled in a comical mishap stemming from Barbie's reaction to unwanted attention. A confrontation lands them in jail temporarily. Following their release, Barbie sets out to locate her young owner. Sitting on a bench, Barbie experiences poignant visions of a once joyful girl, whose exuberance wanes over time, evoking tears from the empathetic doll. A chance encounter with an elegant elderly woman, and Roth, sparks a heartfelt exchange, with Barbie admiring the woman's beauty and receiving a humble acknowledgement in return. Guided by her visions, Barbie crosses paths with Sasha, Ariana Greenblatt, a middle school student who has moved on from playing with Barbies due to the doll's portrayal of unrealistic beauty standards. Meanwhile, as Barbie and Ken embark on individual pursuits, Ken stumbles upon the concept of patriarchy, embracing it with a misguided sense of positivity. Barbie's quest leads her to the headquarters of Mattel, the company responsible for crafting the iconic Barbies. The CEO, Will Ferrell, becomes aware of her presence in the real world, inadvertently overheard by Gloria, America Ferreira, an employee and Sasha's mother. A series of events unfolds, culminating in Barbie confronting the company's executives in a boardroom setting. Initially tempted to revert to her packaged state, Barbie ultimately chooses to resist, embarking on a daring escape. Gloria retrieves Barbie and, with Sasha, accompanies her back to Barbie land, while the Mattel team endeavors to track them down. Upon their return to Barbie land, an unsettling discovery awaits them, Ken has transformed the idyllic realm into Kendom, marked by an obnoxious, bro, culture, which has influenced the other Kens to adopt domineering attitudes. Consequently, the Barbies have become more subservient. The effect extends to the real world, where Ken's alteration of Barbie's dream house, now dubbed the Mojo Dojo Casa House, proves to be a commercial success. Barbie's attempts to reason with Ken falter, as he revels in newfound importance and rejects her pleas for change. Struggling with a sense of inadequacy, Barbie experiences a bout of depression and alienation, prompting Gloria and Sasha to depart at her behest. A satirical advertisement for, depressed Barbie underscores her emotional turmoil, until the arrival of Weird Barbie offers solace. Meanwhile, Gloria and Sasha's departure from Barbie land is interrupted by Alan, who joins them in their exit. Alan's presence proves valuable as he confronts the Ken's misguided wall-building endeavors. Sasha, recognizing the significance of her mother's values, 
proposes a return to Barbie Land to aid Barbie in her time of need. The triumphant trio returns to Barbie Land, taking on the challenge of reclaiming the realm from the grip of Ken Dom. As Barbie strives to bridge the divide with Ken, the narrative culminates in a heartwarming resolution, a testament to the power of unity and understanding. Gloria and Sasha find their way back to Weird Barbie's dream house, where Barbie is accompanied by a gathering of discontinued Barbies and Kens. In a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, Gloria addresses Barbie's lingering depression, delivering a powerful speech about the burdens women face due to societal standards. This emotional exchange prompts a shift in Barbie's mood, resonating with other Barbies who also begin to see through the situation. Together, they hatch a plan to prompt change among the Kens. Each Barbie employs her own charm to appeal to her respective Ken's ego, then playfully moves on to incite jealousy and rivalry among the Kens. The escalating dynamics lead to a spirited dance-off, culminating in Ken's heartfelt rendition of I'm Just Ken, an introspective ballad. Ken opens up to Barbie, admitting that he feels his identity is overshadowed by his relationship with her, emphasizing the Barbie and Ken narrative rather than just Ken. Barbie acknowledges her role in making him feel this way while asserting her desire to be more than just Ken's girlfriend in Barbie Land. As the Mattel representatives descend upon Barbie Land, the spirit of Ruth Handler, Rhea Perlman, Barbie's creator, materializes to offer guidance. Ruth reminds Barbie that her story transcends human limitations and encourages her to carve her own destiny. Barbie envisions a tapestry of women and mothers before making a resolute decision. In a subsequent scene, Barbie, now adopting the name Barbara Handler, rejoins Gloria and Sasha in the real world. The duo drops her off at a building where she seeks an appointment with a gynecologist. Meanwhile, within the enchanting realm of Barbie land, a myriad of Barbies exhibit diverse professions and distinct personalities, while the Kens largely revolve around their relationships with the Barbies. Amid this array, one Barbie experiences a sense of detachment from the rest, grappling with existential contemplation. Persuaded by Weird Barbie, she embarks on a journey into the real world alongside her Ken, heading toward the vibrant setting of Venice Beach. In the external reality, Barbie's path intersects with Gloria and Sasha, a mother-daughter pair who once shared the joy of playing with her. Sasha, outgrowing Barbie due to her reservations about the doll's unrealistic beauty ideals, had led to their separation. The CEO of Mattel learns of Barbie's presence in the real world and endeavors to confine her once more. However, with the intervention of Gloria and Sasha, Barbie avoids being boxed up again. As they return home, they discover that Ken has transformed Barbie land into Ken Dom, influenced by his newfound awareness of the patriarchy. This change reduces the Barbies to subservient roles, and Barbie's attempts to reverse the shift prove fruitless. Succumbing to despair, Barbie nearly loses hope until she's inspired by Alan, the lone doll without multiple versions, to stand against the tide. Galvanized by Gloria's impassioned words, Barbie, along with her sisters, crafts a strategy to reclaim Barbie land. By manipulating the Kens to incite conflict among themselves, the Barbies engineer a breakthrough. Amid the chaos, Barbie and Ken ultimately reconcile their differences, with Ken seeking validation beyond his role as a boyfriend. In a poignant moment, Barbie encounters the ethereal presence of Ruth Handler, her creator, who empowers her to forge her own destiny. Barbie makes a pivotal choice, to exist as a human in the real world. This decision binds her closer to Gloria and Sasha, ensuring that her journey continues alongside her steadfast companions.